Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing another quick get ready, like five minute makeup type of makeup. I know I already did post a video very similar to this, um, but this is just a different technique. I do have several versions of this like five minute quick out the door type of makeup. So every now and then I'll upload another one just so that way you have like different options. So if you wanna see how I quickly get this face put together and not look like a complete zombie in like five minutes or less. Oh, that's 10. In like five minutes or less, then keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I did was I washed my face. That's all I did. So when I'm doing this type of makeup, I am just like quick out the door. I have no time to do a full skincare routine plus a full face of makeup. So I just need to quickly pick a few products that it's basically gonna do it all. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is moisturize my face. This is the Vegan Milk Moisturizer from Milk Makeup. Um, so we're gonna use this as our moisturizer. Um, sometimes I will go in with a tinted moisturizer if I really want to get a little bit of coverage, but sometimes I don't even have time for that because with a tinted moisturizer, you have to really make sure it's blended in really, really well. And sometimes I just don't have time for that. So. I'm going to add a little bit of this and this is so like moisturizing and it's like thick too so it's really good for like the winter. Sorry if my lighting is not the best. I just did a quick setup in my bedroom so I'm just going to add a little bit to my forehead because I feel like my forehead needs some major hydration and then just bring it down. I will tap a little bit of it and just kind of dab it under my eyes just because I feel like I need some hydration under there too. So while we leave that moisturizer like sink into the skin, I'm just going to quickly do my brows. Sorry guys, I literally just woke up so my voice is like super grouncy. This is the Wet n Wild Brow Sessive Brow Gel. I love this stuff so much. But this gives such a nice tint to the brows. If you don't have time to fill them in, you can just quickly add a tint. And it's not going to reshape them or define them, but it's going to add just a little bit more fluff to your brow and darken them up a bit so that way people can see that you have brows. Next, I'm going to go in with the Milk Makeup, and this is the Blur Stick, so it's kind of like basically a primer. Um, if you do not want to splurge on the Milk Makeup one, Makeup Revolution has their own version as well. It's the Blur Stick Universal Face Primer, and this is what it looks like so and it's like a huge jumbo thing this is just the mini version but this is a full-size version so and it's going to be way cheaper than the full-size version of the milk makeup one so you can always get that one too if you were interested um but yeah so all i'm gonna do is just gonna run this over my pore area and just kind of blur out those pores that i have in that area And then I'm just going to take it over my nose, around my forehead, and under my chin, like at my chin. And it just like smooths out your skin. I'm just kind of, and on camera you really can't see, but in person, it kind of just like, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a weird thing to explain. <laughs> Then I'm going to go in with the Believe Beauty, and this is their um, Brighten Up Color Correcting Concealer. So I'm just going to use my finger. I'm just going to dab this under my eye and just kind of, it just helps like brighten things up a bit. Okay. So I really don't do much. I just do just a little bit just to kind of brighten that area but it's not gonna like full coverage conceal anything. Then I'm gonna take another concealer. This one is from Kaja. And I'm just going to conceal any harsh blemishes like this that are appearing on my face. So a lot of times I'll leave like little blemishes go, but if it's like a cluster like that, then, I, then they gotta go. So I'm just going to dab. And then whatever's left on the brush, on the sponge, I would like use it to like kind of blend it 
so there's no like harsh lines and you can see like you can see through it it's not a full coverage concealer i don't want like a cakey full coverage concealer but it just like tones down the redness which is all i'm really concerned about really and then i'm going to quickly take my number seven powder this one's in the shade light medium and i'm just going to put some under my eye and this doesn't give you like a cakey like powdery look and then i'm just gonna dab it over the concealer part then i'm gonna take this here you don't have to put this on if you don't want to or if you're not like that experienced with makeup or cream products but i am so i'm gonna take a little bit of the milk makeup cream blush and all i'm doing is just taking some on like a stipple brush and we're just going to give us a little bit of color i feel like this just gives like a little bit of a glow and like obviously you see over here we just kind of look plain and then over here we just have this like a nice flush of color and doing this and then applying it like i feel like it just it's no effort at all for me like i said if you think this is just too much for you then you can go ahead and skip this step you can also use this on your lips as well i already have like a lip oil on so and that's usually what i stick with like a balm or a lip oil all right so next and last is my mascara so this one is just the physician's formula butter blowout mascara i'm using this one because it's not going to give me super like crazy amount of volume and length and give me that like false lash um effect it's just really going to like make your lashes appear so they don't look totally invisible if you don't curl your lashes normally you don't have to i just like to give them a little bit of a curl this is a drier formula mascara so if you do not like a dry mascara maybe because they dry out quicker or whatever but or for whatever reason but just know that this is a drier formula you can see how it just basically just makes my lashes there all right so that's all i do i usually just do one coat if i'm like in a hurry and i'm not doing like full glam i'll just do one coat just so that way you can kind of see my lashes and they look a little natural i won't put anything like on my bottom lashes though just because I, again i just want to keep things fresh and natural again my hair looks super crazy but just wanted to show you what i look like in natural sunlight so yeah like this i don't know i just like it it's fresh it's glowy you know like if my hair is actually done and snatched and like i don't know maybe in like a high bun or a ponytail um but <clears throat> this is just what my skin's looking like i just feel like i don't look dead anymore so yeah all right guys so that is everything hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully it helps you um hopefully if you are a busy working boss babe or a busy mom um hopefully this helps you in some type of way um if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell down below that way you will be notified for any future uploads as well as leave a comment down below let me know what videos you guys want to see next i post three times a week sunday tuesdays and thursdays until next time bye guys